hello guys welcome back to another logoon video and in today's video i'm going to be proving why the midas staff is one of the most underrated weapons in hypixel skyblock but before we get into this video i just want to thank you guys so so much for all the support on my re two most recent videos the bizarre video got 1.3k views at on the time i'm recording this and around 67 likes which means as you guys saw in the video it says in the video it said 50 likes and i'm doing a 5 million coin giveaway which means i am going to be doing a 5 million coin giveaway on my discord i'll leave the link in the bio i'll leave the link in the description um and yeah let's get right into this video proving why the midas staff is one of the most underrated weapons in hypixel skyblock so for this test today i'll be testing the spiritual juju shortbow uh you guys can look at this Story did five, overload five, pretty decent, pretty decent. Um, five star spiritual legendary recon, pretty, pretty good, pretty good. And I'll be testing it with the tiger pet with the dwarf turtle shell on it. And the Midas staff, the one you guys are looking for, the one I'll be testing in this video is heroic five star Midas staff, pay a uh, hundred mil Midas staff, which means I get the max amount of bonus. And it has ultimate wise, uh, it does have sharp six, which might help a bit, but it shouldn't help too much. Uh, and I will also be testing that with storm armor and a sheep pet. So let's get right into the test. So for this first test, I'll be using a uh, tarantula helmet with uh, recombed Necron chest plate five star, recombed Necron's leggings five star, and recombed max wear boots five star. Um, uh, so this first test, I also have the tiger pet on. So let's start seeing the damage. 102k. 104k, 104k around, 104k. But one thing I will say is I can change the reforge real quick. That'll probably help me some damage. Uh, I'll go with itchy because that's what I use when I did uh when I use my juju. So let's see what the damage is with itchy. Itchy, 157k. 157k so it's around 160k i would say because i mean soul eater eventually will add up oh i'm flush <laughs> nine i guess but uh anyway yeah it's around 160k this is the overall test for the juju now guys for the midas staff we're gonna be using the sheep pet and we're gonna be have these recombed wither goggles we're gonna have the loving storm chest plate five star H it recombed and or no, not ancient just recom just recom loving and necrotic storm leggings with uh recom and then the same max boots i used because we need that speed i did change my reforge to sighted so i could get more mana and let's, let's just check the damage let's just check the damage ready oh, one 0.5 million damage that is insane a uh, bit of lag there but 1.5 mil around almost yeah that is all absurd i am doing 1.5 million damage that is <laughs> that's insane that's like 10 times what i'm doing with my juju bow just the overall test so it'll be scaled even more in dungeons so let's get right into the dungeon test so i have the dungeon gear on the necron head the necron chest plate necron leggings and the maxwell roots and i have the juju bow uh i also have the tiger pet on i have an archer class set uh let's see let's see, let's see my all spawn damage i do have the he reforge on right now I'll spawn round like seven mil. Seven mil, not bad. Yeah, around seven mil, I would say. Pretty decent. Uh, it can it kills a lot of uh, mobs at once when you spam click it. Which is pretty good. Pretty good uh, thing to have on your weapon because I can just spam click and it'll kill a lot of them at once. Uh, let's see how quickly we can kill a shadow assassin. Ready? 
Pretty fast. I mean, it's relatively fast, I would say. I think there's a mini wall somewhere. Oh, yeah, right here. Resident Adventure. Okay. Nice. That is really fast. All right. Am I dumb? Oh, it's right here. Okay, I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm like, no, I'm Archer. I do take a lot of damage, but you also do take a lot of damage with Mage, so. Oh, nice. Hopefully we get a laser out here. Nice, drop the laser eye. Pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good for the um, juju test on the dungeon, so I would give it a good rating. All right, so now we're in the run doing the Midas Staff test. Uh, I have my sheep head on. I have the the storm gear I showed you guys earlier. Let's get a mage. Let's see the off spawn damage. Right. Oh my gosh! Look at that! Just look at that! 13 mil, 13 point. It's it's nearly double, and it, and it can also kill multiple things at once like that. Let's see how quick I can shred this lost entry. Guys, <laughs> this is this is like a joke. Like I literally like two tapped it, bro. Oh my gosh. And uh, if people, some people will say like, oh, there's a cooldown on the Midas stuff. When you're in dungeons, it takes away the cooldown. It, the, like. Okay, it says it's a one second cooldown, right? T tell me this is one second. Tell me this is a one second cooldown. There's no way that's a one second cooldown. It's so fast. And let's just be realistic. It's more fun to throw gold in the air, literal gold, and just kill all these mobs than to, to shoot a bow. Like, it's not as fun, you know? That's just my, that's just my opinion, but I just feel like Playing mage is also with the Midas staff is also much more fun. I mean, you can debate on like, in in the end of the at the end of the day, this is a game. The point is to have fun, so that's why I wanted to switch because I'm I'm really enjoying playing mage with this. It's a lot more fun than playing archer. I've been talking a lot this clear, so. All right, let's see. There should be a shadow assassin over here. Like, I literally three-tap it. It's insane. The damage, you can see in chat, is insane. Just look how easy I can kill all these mobs at once. And and there's no cooldown. The DPS is so much higher with, when you're playing with this set. And you see, I was taking less damage with my Midas Staff than my than when I was using my Juju. The clear the clear is obviously gonna be slower if I'm talking the whole time. Overall guys, in my opinion, I would recommend getting a Midas app. This is one of the most underrated weapons in the game. Uh, people don't really talk that highly of it, but I think it is very good. Uh, you might wanna have another weapon outside of dungeons. It does a lot of damage, but you do have the one second cooldown outside of dungeons, but I do think this is a great weapon. And it's good if you can't afford a hype. Like, if you want to have fun, play like a mage, you can't afford a hype. It's really good. I, In my opinion, I really like this, though, because it is very fun. It's very, very fun and a lot more fun than just shooting an arrow all the time, you know? But overall, in my opinion, guys, I do think the Midas Staff is better than the Juju. Uh, but overall, I just, I just do think it's better. I mean, it's not... It's expensive. It's expensive. I get it. But if you you can't you can't afford a, a Hyperion, I feel like it's a good thing. So this is why in today's episode, uh, that's why I proved uh, the Midas Staff is one of the most underrated weapons in the game, and you can get it for cheap right now because Scorpius is mayor, so more people are going to dark auctions. So other than that, guys, thank you so much, and uh, the, I hope we can get 50 likes on this video. 50 likes would be a lot. It's a lot to ask, but I think we can do it, guys. I think the goon army can do it. But other than that, guys, make sure you hit that bell. Subscribe. Drop a like. Drop a comment. Drop any recommendations. Make sure you join the Discord for the giveaway. Other than that, 
Have a wonderful rest of your day. And peace out.